Kim, you run Auto Park and Jet here in the city of Ottawa uh, that pr allows people to park their cars yes. uh, for longer periods of time yes. when they're flying. Yes. Uh, what happened recently with the city that uh, sort of got your back up a little bit? Uh, well, it's, it's an interesting situation that uh, they uh, originally took the uh, park, and jet, park and Fly signs down, uh, direction signs down on the road on city property. And uh, they're now. Is a competing company. It is, and now they're going to allow them to re reinstall the signs. Um, I'm okay either way with the city's decision on it, but I, I do feel that uh, it should be fair for anybody that's in the marketplace and competitive businesses that uh, they should be allowed to do the same thing as well, mm -hmm. um, with a proper sign and a proper location with the city's approval. So Park and Fly has seven signs up on city property advertising their business which competes with yours. Yes. And so uh, do you want them to put signs up where their signs are or do you want their signs to come down? Uh, I wouldn't put signs up where their signs are because I'm in a completely different area. So uh, direction wise uh, I'm not going to impact them and they don't impact me. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, it's a fairness thing yeah. uh, in the business place and um, you know, if they're allowed to do it, then I, I think I should be able to have directional signs at the intersections. Right. Have you ever asked for those directional signs? No, I haven't. No. no. <laughs> so no. you might be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> you might ask and they might just say yes. You never know. Yeah. Okay, well, um, are you going to take this further to the city? or? No, actually, I'm going to wait and see. Oh. I'm going to sit back and see what, what the city decides yes. and where they go with it.